From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to talk about North, South, and West regions in the early 1800s, when the borders of the United States stretched from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River. The North consisted mainly of large cities, small towns, and small cities. The soil was rocky and thin and generally not good for agriculture. The North had trade centers, as well as manufacturing centers, shipbuilding, and logging. Also factories, ironworks, textile mills, and cottage industries. The South, by contrast, was rural with few large cities and towns, but instead had coastal marshes and a plantation economy, tobacco, and cotton, and sugar were their main cash crops. They had a long growing season, and they produced raw materials for northern and British factories. The West, including Ohio, was rural but growing with cities and towns. There was inexpensive farmland and rich soil for farming. Ohio was a producer of raw materials for both northern and British factories, including timber and minerals. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.